Serving the internet. Mm, mm, mm. Make marketing memorable. Corona's got crabs. Smoothie King is talking gut bombs. And Josh Demel wants to make your Super Bowl ad. It's Friday, April 28th, 2023. Let's nerd out. The Ad Nerds Podcast delivers ad industry news every weekday. We are the go-to source for people who spend money on advertising, covering big brands, small businesses, and the latest marketing trends. It's me, Spanky Moskowitz, the show's host, and a nearly 40-year vet of the ad industry. I've crafted campaigns for Budweiser, M&M's, Frito-Lay, the NFL, and NBA. I've created over 100,000 ads, generating hundreds of billions in client revenue. If you're in or interested in the world of advertising and want to stay up to date with the latest news, the Ad Nerds Podcast is the perfect place to start. Ad Nerds Podcast. Small business owners have limited marketing budgets compared to big brands. So let's talk about something I call mm, 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 make marketing memorable. So imagine you see two phrases in front of you in an ad, and the two phrases are fast car and innovative quality. Which do you think you'd remember? Which one do you think would stand out in your mind? Well, studies have shown that people remember concrete phrases like fast car better than abstract ones like innovative quality. And that's because our brains can picture the concrete thing which makes it stick in our minds. So for example, let's say you're trying to remember an ad for a new type of jeans. If the ad said innovative quality, you might not remember it very well. But if the ad said skinny jeans, you could picture them in your mind and remember them like that. Well, a recent marketing study found that people remembered 36% of concrete words compared to only 9% of abstract words. That is a huge difference. So if you're a marketer, it's important to use concrete language in your ads. Instead of just saying your product is durable or innovative, give it concrete examples of why it's durable or innovative. A great example of concrete language is an ad for Apple's uh, iPod when it first launched. Steve Jobs was a master at this. When Apple launched the iPod, Instead of talking about the storage size in megabytes, they emphasized a thousand songs in your pocket. By picturing the device in people's pockets, consumers were more likely to remember the iPod. So remember, if you want people to remember your product or service, make sure you use concrete language in your messaging, stuff they can picture in their brains. And if you need help with that, I might know a company that can help. It's them, that's right. Corona Peru teamed up with Peruvian artist Eddie Merida to create an innovative out-of-home advertising campaign that emulates the movements of a crab. The cane and bamboo structure with a natural fiber sail uses wind to move and capture attention, turning a typically static advertising medium into a dynamic, 100% natural billboard. This unique approach is in stark contrast to the typical forgettable, non-sustainable outdoor ads we usually see. Yo creo que lo más lindo del proyecto fue trabajar con el viento, porque es un elemento que te empuja, que te impulsa, que te lleva y que te puede transportar a muchos espacios. Sebastian Palacio Marketing director of Corona Peru stated that the goal was to transform a traditional medium into something that is carried away by nature. The campaign was created in collaboration with Fahrenheit DDB, and it's an absolutely beautiful piece of functional art and advertising together. And it's a must see. I've got a link, of course, obviously in the show notes. Coming up, have you ever eaten a gut bomb for breakfast? Well, Smoothie King has a better idea and a great ad too. The most nerdy, it's time for an ad, ad nerds podcast. Ad nerds, ad nerds, ad zombies can make your brand sing. It's time to face the music. Your brand, your business needs a tune that sticks in people's heads. You know, an earworm, something they can't stop singing. That's where jingles come in. Jingles by ad zombies, of course. 
Picture this, a jingle that grabs your brand's essence but also gets stuck in everyone's head. Winning! A memorable jingle sets you apart from the competition, strengthens your brand identity, and has customers singing your praises literally. So if you're ready to turn your brand into a chart topper, let AdZombies jingle, jingle creation services hit all the right notes. Go to AdZombies.com today, and soon you'll be singing our praises too. Smoothie King, the popular chain, has launched their new smoothie bowls, and they have instantly become the largest seller of smoothie bowls in the U.S. This new launch is also the first work to break from Barclay, the independent creative idea company, since they were named AOR, Agency of Record, for Smoothie King. The integrated campaign for the new smoothie bowls just launched with a TV spot called Gut Bomb. The spot highlights how eating heavy meals can make you feel like you're going to explode and offers a solution in the form of Smoothie King's new smoothie bowls. The ad begins with a man on a park bench and his guts are not happy. A lit fuse hangs out of his bloated belly, about to explode. Don't let a gut bomb destroy your day. Power up with new smoothie bowls. Choose between a pitaya or acai base, handcrafted with toppings like crunchy purely Elizabeth granola, bright mangoes, fresh berries, and a savory peanut butter drizzle. Only at Smoothie King. The ad campaign includes radio, in-store pop, and a full social campaign supported by 12 health and fitness influencers. Podcast. Small business owners, you need to lean in to this next story. TikTok is not just for short videos anymore. According to Samba TV, the app can also keep you glued to bigger screens with longer form content. Samba found that 97% of TikTok campaigns resulted in viewership with an average 159% increase in tune-ins. And once people tuned in, guess what happened? They stuck around longer too. After exposure to streaming ads, users watched an average of 86 minutes. That's a 26% 26 increase from the control group, which makes TikTok a great tool for streamers to engage with audiences that are increasingly ditching cable TV. Now let's talk a little bit about the cost effectiveness of TikTok. TikTok is 1.2 times more cost efficient than television with a median cost per tune in of $1.06. And of course the platform is also known for creating consumer buzz around a show or series that's in tune with TikTok culture. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, yeah, but I don't do or have or produce a TV show. But remember, TikTok culture is that Gen Z audience, that audience you're going to be serving for the next 50, 60 years in your business. So start using that platform because the organic reach and the content creation is what it's all about. Dallas Lawrence, Samba's TV vice president, pointed out that Netflix Adam's Family spinoff had the most viewed premiere of 2022 because of its ability to talk and engage with Gen Z and millennials on TikTok. The series even started a Wednesday Adam's dance trend, and Netflix even posted um, cryptic clips of the actress Jenna, Jenna Ortega to build excitement for the, for the show. So if you need more proof that TikTok is the go-to platform for discovering new shows, a Harris poll just revealed that 63% of users discovered a streaming service on TikTok through clips or trailers, and 72% found that comments from other users were helpful in making their entertainment decisions. Again, this applies to your small business. Discovery happens on TikTok through clips and comments from fans from brand advocates, from customers, are helpful in helping other people make a decision to do business with you. Coming up, every business needs a Super Bowl ad, and there's an agency that wants to make one for you. Ad Nerds Podcast. I've been in the ad game for almost 40 years, but I'm a small business owner just like you. Forget those stuffy ad agencies and their stale ideas. It's time to turn up the volume to an 11 with Ad Zombies. We're your creative business partner, crafting attention-grabbing, mind-blowing, ridiculously creative ad campaigns and jingles. Think of us as the secret sauce agencies suck off their fingers. Yeah, I said suck off again, three days in a row and no one's pushed back. 
but without the ad agency price. If you're ready for advertising that truly makes an impact, go to adzombies.com today. Ad Zombies, ridiculously creative advertising. Ad Nerds Podcast. Ad Nerds Podcast. Actor Josh Demel and his production company Dakota Media are partnering with brands and celebrities to produce ads and campaigns that resonate with audiences. Dakota has worked with Hyundai, Bobcat, 3M, and AT&T, as well as sports organizations like the PGA, Tampa Bay Lightning, and Los Angeles Rams. We need a new formula. It's time to get back to the lab. The draft lab is as much a concept as a place. Scientists study the past in order to figure out the keys to winning the future. We know what to do, and we know how to do it. The important thing about any lab, it's always about more than science. It's about instinct. The lab is about feeling, about flow. It's not smoke and mirrors. Be bold. That is the winning formula. So let's get to it. It's about a work ethic. It's about buying in. Graham Salik, Aaron Donald. And every year, the lab is built for those who believe the mountaintop is always within reach. It's ready. Cheech, it's time. <laughs> this is my lab. This is Les Snead, general manager, Los Angeles Rams. You ever dreamed about playing in the NFL? The Rams ad features players, coaches, Cheech Marin, Breaking Bad's Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul, and Diplo. The company aims to tell random stories that go beyond what the companies are known for. Dakota's work will include uh, or includes average to terrible golfers to tell their own stories for PGA Tour diversity, equity, and inclusion spot. Dakota's ultimate goal is, according to Josh DeMille, is to shoot a Super Bowl commercial. As a former marketing executive at TaylorMade and Adidas, Dakota co-founder Joshua Algra understands the frustrations that come with the cost, agency bureaucracy, and stilted communications that accompany the, quote, old advertising model, end quote, and is leveraging those experiences to create a more streamlined approach. Dakota's small and nimble team keeps costs low and allows for more creative freedom. Now, Demel's experience as an actor and celebrity helps him relate to other stars and athletes and creates an environment where they feel comfortable and at ease. Now, I don't know if you know this, but typically celebrities appear in ads out of contractual obligation. And when they're on set, they kind of feel isolated. So what Dakota does, he attempts to work with actors and athletes and Let's them go off script a bit and lets them bring their characters to life. Overall, Dakota Media is a startup that represents a new world for DeMel, who's finding creative freedom that he believes has made him a better artist and collaborator. The company's goal is to create authentic and um, content that resonates and tells better stories and builds customer trust. Hey, if you like the Ad Nerds podcast, please subscribe on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you listen. Give it a five-star rating and a review. I'd appreciate it. That's the Ad Nerds podcast for Friday, April 28th, 2023. Spanky out. Thanks for listening and have a great weekend.